How's it going guys? We are back on Dragon Ball Legends and today we're going to be testing out the brand new Hakai Beerus which has finally come to Dragon Ball Legends. So let's jump into it. Alright then guys, so I know a lot of people have been asking for Hakai Beerus for a very long time on a lot of these Dragon Ball games. Legends, Dokkan, uh, Fighter Z, all that sort of stuff. And it hasn't really happened, but it's finally here on Legends. And he is a melee type. But something interesting to note is, as he's a melee type, his blast attack is actually higher. But I think that's mainly because um, not only does he get extra health on his striker card, but he also gets additional uh, damage inflicted and things um, from his unique ability when the battle starts. And extra to strike damage and less strike arts cost and things like that as well. So, predominantly do want to base him around Strike, even though that stat is a little bit lower. Um, something also interesting to note is, for the first time ever on a unit, with his Hakai, he can actually nullify any sort of revival. Um, so, once again, this is very new to a unit. I think he is the first unit to have this. But he can nullify any revival units, like the Freezers running around, the Old Cell even um the gohans all that sort of stuff so you can actually nullify it with his akai makes sense with the guy you know get rid of them from existence and all that um another thing to note is well with his green card he does re um, restore his own health and key uh gets a couple of extra damage buffs and things like that as well and he can also draw a blue card basically and restore his own key by 40 um activates twice uh, and inflicts all enemies with no switching for four time accounts. So that'd be quite interesting to use as well. Main ability draws, draws a blue card, extra key. Arts card draws speed by one as well. Uh, shortened substitution count by three for self for 30 time accounts. And nullifies um, basically cover change as well. So he's also got another unique ability where basically if he defeats an enemy, so probably from Rise and Rush or just generally, he gets an extra Dragon Ball. Uh, randomly draws two cards at most two new cards when you have three or less cards uh, reduces enemy key he does also um, when faced with the enemy he gets extra special move damage for blue card damage and de extra damage inflicted 15 time accounts and reduces enemy uh, key by 20 um, oh sorry that's when they change in and get a new enemy so basically you want to finish people off with Beerus as much as possible with a guy to get extra buffs and today this is the team we're going to be jumping into uh, or jumping in with we'll go into ranked pvp in this video as we do normally with the videos and here are all the equips just in case you are interested but we're predominantly going to be using Gogeta Blue, Beerus and Rose and Zamasu. There's quite a lot of characters here that I don't use a lot on the channel. I do have the Goku Vegeta there just in case we can encounter a lot of um, green units or something. And then we've got God Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue Goku both buffing the Beerus and the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Like I said, a couple of units on here that I don't use very often. Obviously, the Beerus brand new. Um, in case you didn't catch my summoning video, A, make sure to go watch that. It was pretty exciting. But we managed to get Beerus to six stars. Yet to pull Jiren, but I will try. Um, but I thought, why not? Let's try this team. It's a little bit different to what I usually do on the channel. Um, and some new units and makes it a bit fresh and things. So why not? Um, I personally think God Keys is best team. I do also have a um, Universal Survival Saga team. Um, which I've been playing around with. It's not the final version. But if you guys are interested in seeing that, uh, let me know down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. It helps out the channel and lets other people enjoy the content too. So let's jump into ranked PvP and hopefully we get some dubs. Let's go. All right then, guys. So starting off against a All Saiyan team by the looks of it. Um, all right, let's do that. And we've probably got Gogeta here. Oh, we haven't. Um, what's happening here? Right. Okay. Whatever. Let's start this off. Anyway, let's. Okay. 
we would want to see the BRS showing off, but obviously with this Go Cheetah on the other side, it's a bit of an issue there, but we'll, I'm sure we'll come through with it. So this BRS overall is a strike based unit, and that's basically what he wants to do. Um, how have you got a Rising? Rising Rush in the showcase unit, of course. Oh well, that worked out, didn't it? Right, so he is a straight based unit, so that's primarily what you want to be doing with him. Uh, like we can see here, nice bit of damage there to Bardock. Decent, let's do that. No endurance for you, uh, not at the moment anyway. Uh, managed to match that and uh, that wasn't good but it was good enough on the bright side not a whole heap of damage there against Gogeta but like I said type advantage and all that let's just get him out of the way with Gogeta Blue it's going alright so far we'll have a little look at his um, Rising Rush pose and things like that a bit later on uh, <laughs> well I guess that's only fair I uh, guessed you so you can guess me I guess Let's just do that. You could probably bring in Goku and Vegeta Akani. No, we can't. Okay. And we destroy a Dragon Ball, so that's very nice. Okay. Let's bring in Beerus. Cool. And we might be able to finish him here, actually. Depending. So we can use our main ability to get some key back, I believe. Or at least a green card. Let's do that and finish it off with a blue card so we can Hakai Goku out of the screen. It's been ages. Loads of people have been waiting for Hakai Beerus and he's finally here. Nice little win pose as well. Okay, on to the next match then. Okay, so next up against a rival universe team, uh, and I've s nice, and I've swapped out the uh, Gogeta Blue for Goku and Vegeta because I thought, you know, with all the green units he had on his side and things, probably a good switch there as well. Cool. Uh, let's use our green cards. Get our vanish back. Won't do too much damage. Well, it's not bad, actually. Won't do too much damage, but we can get a vanish back. And we will do that. Cool. Can we finish you off? No, we can't. Turning into a little bit of the Vegeta and Goku showcase, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> I, I kind of waited a long time then. I thought the key would come back, but it didn't. Oh, well. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, let's just sack you off for now. They're definitely not going to survive this, but that way. It is a green unit as well. All right, that's unfortunate, but I want to keep Beerus in play. Um, seeing as he's a showcase unit, see what he can do. Uh, let's play a little bit more seriously now. I think I've uh, not really been playing to the best of my ability there. Okay. Catch you on a sidestep there. Um, all right, you're bringing Topo out. That's interesting. You've changed your mind. And let's do... Can we finish these off with taps? We can. I'm going to do this. Um, and this to get a rising rush. We should be okay for a little bit. Type advantage and all that. Yeah, you go for that. And rising Jiren. Not a lot of choice, you know. Let's go strike, because why not? We're not doing the massive amount of damage, but... Okay, luckily we got it off, so... Jiren is gone as well with that lovely Hakai animation. What I was sort of talking about earlier with Hakai is people have been asking for him in games for ages for Hakai and finally Legends have done it. Um, I think even they might be the, one of the first 
think I caught you on a sidestep there. Yes, we have. Uh, let's do this. I think we get a blue card. We do. And let's finish it off with a Hakai again. Wait, does it nullify endurance? Well, it must do. Nice little Hakai to finish it off. Let's go into the last match. Okay, last match of the video, and the only thing I can think of is a powerful opponent with Gogeta on it, I guess, is the type of team that we're up against, but maybe we can see a little bit more from Beerus now as well. Um, he is absolutely decimating. Ultra Gogeta, by the way, best game unit in the game, by the way. Uh, absolutely decimating him. I think he was only like five stars anyway, but still. Um, that worked out very nicely. We got a nice little perfect vanish there. I think we could probably even bring in Beerus in a second. Yes, we can. And nice little perfect vanish then. And there goes Zamasu. Decent. So that's got worked out quite well thus far. Uh, might as well get you to use your damage up. Whoa, that's a lot of damage from Broly. I mean, he is known for that, but still. Almost took out Beerus in one shot there. Uh, let's go to Gogeta Blue. Uh, oh, oh no. Let's just use this up. Should we try getting an LF with Gogeta Blue? Um, I don't think we probably could, could we? So. Let's just use that just to get out of the way. Cool. Thank you for that. Uh, oh, okay. So he's caught me on the sidestep. And use a blue card. That's fine. So you get rid of my hands. No, nay bother there. Uh, type advantage. Shouldn't even take that much damage. Look at that tanking. From once again, best unit of the game, you know. Um, maybe not the best player in the world, though. He is just throwing everything out. Um, let's just use that. And then that. I think we haven't used that already, have we? So he's lost his vanish. There you go. Oh, no, Beerus, no. <laughs> oh, he waited that time. Okay. No no worries. We'll finish it off there. But still not a bad showing originally against the best kit unit of the game, to be fair. All right, let's go into the wrap-up. Okay, then, guys. So, overall, this team did pretty well. You had the Zamasu and the Goku Black as our tanks. We had Gogeta Blue putting out a lot of damage against Mono Purple and all those sort of things. Um, could even use Goku and Vegeta as well to come in some points. And then, obviously, Beerus. I've got to say, with Beerus, pretty impressive, impressive, to be fair. Seeing as his blast attack was higher for some reason. Um, quite a lot of strike damage, to be fair. He did put out a lot of damage. And his blue card put out a lot of damage. And also, whilst we didn't face a lot of revival slash endurance units, I imagine with the meta that we've got at the moment, it's very handy to nullify any revival and things. Um, Gogeta... Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is already one of the best car, um, characters in the game because with his Platinum equipped, he basically has an anti-revive feature. So this guy actually stops it altogether. So maybe we'll see a lot more of him or even more in the future of nullifying revives. Hakai makes sense. I don't know who else they might do it with, but we'll see in the future, won't we? But very impressive as far as I was concerned. The only thing that was a bit lacking was his defense. Um, he couldn't really take a hit. But, I mean, is he really designed to take a hit? A bit more damage dealing. And his defenses are a little bit on the lower side, but they're not too bad. Um, he does get damage reduction as well. Uh, I think it's 50%, is it? Something like that. Uh, yeah, reduces damage received by 50% cannot be cancelled. So, I don't know. Maybe when he's got more stars, that will change. We'll see. But that's the video for today, guys. If you haven't already, guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And it really helps out the channel. Um, and thank you very much for watching. If you stay to the end here, you're a definite legend. And until next time, I'll catch you soon. Ciao.